What's going on, guys? This one is a little, a little different of a knife, and it was loaned in from Alex over at the Knife Box channel. Link to his channel down below, as always. So again, Alex surprises me with something I didn't even know about, and I'm kind of guessing this one you guys don't know about either. So let's just dive right into it, shall we? This is a Roman Bignon, is the uh, maker, French maker, that I am sure I am butchering his name. And this is the Bibbs Evil. Evil. Uh, it is... It's cool, but it's not cool. <laughs> so there is no pocket clip. Okay? It is a front flipper with no pocket clip beautiful G10, like a layered G10, orange and black. And it's just, I mean, the craftsmanship is incredible. And I'm going to put some links down below so that you can check it out. Uh, there is also a mini one uh, that is still available on a website that I'll put down below. And I did not see any of these full-size ones there. Now, without a pocket clip, it does come in this like kind of a burlap baggy, I guess you call it. So without a pocket clip, it's a little bit strange. But what Alex does is he uses a clip slip or a slip with a pocket clip. Uh, and I'll put a picture up over here of what that is as an example, not Alex's exact one, right? And so this just goes into like a leather slip that has a pocket clip on it. So it works fine that way. Um, however, for me, as a front flipper, it's a little odd because oftentimes I am going to use the pocket clip to steady my fingers on as I flip it out, right? So I don't have that opportunity here because, well, there's no pocket clip. But it makes it super comfortable because you have no pocket clip kind of digging into your hand or anything like that at all. So let's zoom in and we'll get to some specs here in just a minute. But uh, the blade is got a really unique finish to it. It's like a, I don't know, I guess I call it an orange peel finish on the blade. Which is nice. I like the blade. I like everything about this. I just wish there was a pocket clip, I guess. The G10 is really immaculate. And the fit and finish between the, you know, the liner lock, the blade, the backspacer. I mean, you can't really feel much of a seam between these different materials. These are all handmade in France by the maker who lives in uh, a very rural area. So I guess that's, there is no need for a pocket clip, but just throw it in your bag. I don't really know the ins and outs, right? But one of his claims to fame, I guess, is that he learned how to make knives from, uh, again, a guy I'm going to butcher his name, Philippe Georget, who made the fifth 20. Um, and so this the blade shape is very fifth 20 ish. The handle is very Michael Zeba S5 ish with the uh, swell here in the middle. And just, you know, it's kind of a cross between an S5. So it's like an S5 handle and a fifth 20 blade, kind of all put together with no pocket clip. So it's cool. It's super unique. I don't think it's like a one-off. He, he made more, but he doesn't do a lot of different models. And he doesn't do a lot of different knives either. So it's very cool, but I wish I had a pocket clip. And I guess one could, if you so chose... You could probably make a pocket clip for it and somehow attach it to the liners. I, I don't know. Might be kind of weird, but you could do that, I think. So 
The specs on this is four and five eighths closed and eight inches overall. So it's a great size. 3.39 inch blade with a 3.29 cutting edge. Blade steel is 154 cm. Blade thickness is 0.113 with an overall thickness at its thickest here of 0.669. Weighs in at 4.3 ounces. Uh, it's going to weigh a little bit more once you put it into a slip, if that's how you're going to carry it. Um, if you're just going to throw it in your pocket, well, then it's just going to be what it is. So let's do a couple of quick size comparisons here with the Sharpie and the pencil. The Spyderco Delica. I don't have a 520 here. I did used to own a 520 and a 523. Um, nor do I have an S5 uh, Zeba. I don't, I've never owned one of those. Double A and D cell batteries. I don't even think I actually own a front flipper right now. So I can't really show you a comparison of a front flipper. But how about, since we're talking custom stuff, the Hellraiser Black Death uh, from Red Horse Knifeworks with the little smudges on the zirconium there, which always happens, which is just the nature of the beast with zirconium like that. So there you go. I hope that you found this a little bit interesting. Um, I'll put some links down below to the maker Roman Bignons, eh, however you pronounce it. And I'm so sorry I'm butchering that. Uh, to his Instagram down below. And Tools for Gents is a website over in, I think, Germany, where Alex bought this from. And they have a mini on there for sale right now. And they have some other models that he's made. So feel free to go check that out. And of course, there will be a link to Alex's channel down below. Thanks a lot, everyone. Have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.